the powering the machines, which tells the laptop what time it is. Uh, in the original firmware, uh, there was a security measure, I believe, that if the, for a lease system, so that if the clock went to zero, uh, it would lock up. And that's what a lot of these machines are. So in these cases, either the machines were left unused for, what, six months or so, and the internal battery drained, or, um, or the machines were dropped or moved during shipping, and the clock battery popped out. Uh, the way this bug became apparent was in manufacturing, there was a die used for stamping out a plastic part that wore through, and, or that wore thin, and so it wasn't holding the batteries quite secure. And so uh, we shipped a few laptops, a, a couple, that, uh, <laughs> that had faulty battery holders. And so the battery would fall out when Amazon or whoever at the time was moving. The story is even more fun than that because three factories built that part, and it was one production line on one factory. And as we ramped into full production, they had to bring it on and start using those dies. So it was it was really just a small percentage, but you know you ship hundred thousand laptops, and that small percentage can be quite large. Yeah. So uh, this is not the most difficult thing to repair. Uh, the most difficult thing to repair is probably the keyboard. It's just as simple as was mentioned, just to swap out the bottom half. But the way to start is. Oh, we're going to need more serial terminals. Yeah, than we currently have. I'll set my laptop with the string. So the way to start is to. What are you just going to walk walk around? Show the, probably, yeah, it's probably just going to walk through. Oh, yeah. So there are four screws on the bottom right here. So yeah, two here. Should we unplug it? Uh, yeah. So everyone unplug it. And remove battery. Of your and remove battery, just because that's good standard repair procedures. And then there are four screws on the bottom of the uh, on the bottom of the machine. And you want to remove those four screws, and that will let you start to uh, take your XO laptop apart. There's two latches uh, to take the battery out. Yeah, so it's the one, yep. four one screws. And one that is spring loaded. It is this here. And here. Not the screws okay. in the battery well. So you, you, you turn it and turn it to build. Yeah, you turn it. There you go, right like that. So you take, so take all four out, right? All four out and, make, and put the screws in the bag. Uh, one way. Oh, here it's not this. The screws that you're looking for are, are right there. Okay. Not this. Not this. And these are standard number one Phillips head screws that follow the good old adage. Swivel only, only goes one way so far, so if it stops, you have to go the other direction. It doesn't swivel 360, because then you would just twist the cable in two, so it only goes... Uh -oh. yeah, the top half of the screen does not rotate inf indefinitely. It only goes up one 360 degrees. Yep. Let's go back the way. And uh, when most of you guys have finished removing those screws, I'll show you how to pop everything apart. Okay. Alright, so after you guys have removed the four screws, flip the antenna so they're facing straight up. Uh, just have all the antennas straight up. And then, and then you have two pieces of green plastic on either side of the screen, and those slide up just a little bit, and then straight out. So it's up and then straight out. And you want to remove both pieces. Yep. And then, next up, you want to rotate it so that the top half is parallel to the keyboard, and tilt it slightly backwards. And then this front piece right here, the bezel around the screen, you pop, pull it slightly out from the bottom and slide it down. <laughs> and then there are four screws holding the screen in place. Four screws holding the screen in place and remove those four screws next. And make sure you're like sticking the screws in or on or around the plastic bag so you lose them. I usually find it's easier when I remove the screen screws to put the laptop in this configuration. So you turn it all the way around and put it down on the ground so that you can press down and remove rather than try to press at an, at an angle. Yeah. How's it going? 
Yeah, yeah, they're, they're all brim. They're all they're all flex brim. Yeah. Man, it's pretty much everyone. Screw that strips, don't worry about it, we'll deal with that later. Now are these um did they come where do they come from? Um these laptops that we're working on here. A lot of these came from uh, individuals in the US and Canada that wanted them uh redonated to a good cause. Okay. So they sent them some of their own There's, expense. Yeah, a lot of them are probably from the original give one get one program and then they Either sat on a shelf for too long, or in the shipping the battery came out, and then they didn't power up, and they chose, you know, not to get it fixed, or decided that it wasn't worth it, or you know. And, and so the next part, after you remove the four screws of the screen, is a little tricky. A lot of people who aren't familiar with hardware disassembly can get a little bit tripped up and uh, hurt something. So after you've removed the four screws in the screen, uh, I'll show you how to pop the screen out, so you can get to the next four, set of four screws. This battery is very good, huh? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's mounted directly to the motherboard, so yeah. Um, sorry to keep picking you no, two, but you're the closest. That's fine. All right, so slightly pull this, pull the bottom of the screen up, and slide it down. You don't want to yank on anything. If something doesn't come, then don't force it. So slide it, or pull the bottom up a little bit, and then slide it down. And it's usually best to be on your machine in this configuration. Uh, this works pretty well. I'll go get that person. You go get him? It's, yes, you can answer the phone. And then you want to... Hi. With a finger... You here for the old PC? Yeah, my name is Phil. Yeah, we'll send someone down. And so then you want to slide a fingernail. Well, there are two, two important parts. You have the big fat ribbon cable, which uh, has the data for the screen. And then you have this little tiny ribbon cable off to the one side that has the power for the backlight. And so you want to take a finger, Slide it under the piece of black plastic that's clamping down on the ribbon cable there, and flip it up. Uh, it might take a, take you a little bit if you're not if you haven't done uh, dealt with ribbon cables in the past. And do the same thing for the tiny ribbon cable. So here I've got a, uh, a good the white part. No, slide it under the black part. Something that happened on Cherry's laptop, which is actually pretty common. Um, I don't know if you can see the. On the backlight connector, this connector right here, this little plastic piece has, has been broken off. It's actually pretty fragile, so you, you have to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, um, gentle when you when you attempt to, to flip these up. They, they hinge, so they're not like yanked out, they hinge, so you, you, it's easy to break. The big one's not... It's, it's more robust than the, than the small one with the backlight connector. But so when she removed hers, it was already broken. So someone else disassembled it and was trying to get that out. But that's pretty common in disassembly is to break this little, is this to one break this one. Yeah. So yeah. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. So you're good. You're yeah. You guys are fine. They're fine. But anyway, so the plastic pieces, they're very small plastic pieces, and they're um, it's easy to break them. So so she can get another one. And this one will need. You can sometimes repair these, but it can, it's pretty tedious. This one's... Yep, that's one. You got so that, that, that's yeah, the end of that laptop, huh? Uh, perhaps. Maybe not.